with Nate Carr, NCAA champ, 1981, 82, and 83, and very successful international wrestler. Nate, what are you excited to see about this tournament? Well, Ray, I think one thing that's interesting, there are probably more NCAA champions returning uh, to this tournament probably than in the history of the NCAA tournament. Uh, that's going to be exciting. The most All-Americans are at heavyweight. Uh, I think that's exciting. Of course, the main event, the way they're doing it this year, the first time ever, uh, Dave and Taylor are the last match. So there's a lot of excitement. Uh, Penn State is a strong team. And um, I think before it's over that uh, they'll probably end up on top. Okay. What, what's your best moment from, the, from your wrestling in this tournament? What stands out for you? She's won. I think more than any other competition, uh, when you're in college, the teammates, this tournament brings the greatest intensity. Uh, I think this tournament, I think you have more young men crying tears than any other tournament because of the intensity, the the, the pressure that you feel. Um, greatest moment, uh, I don't know, I like winning the championship. I know I, I won three of them. Uh, all of them were uh, pretty intense. Scott Trezino was intense, of course. Wrestling Kenny Monday, who doesn't like to lose to anyone. And uh, we had some great battles. We're, we're great friends now. And uh, so those are very memorable. Uh, beating him in overtime two times. And, and then, of course, being on the same Olympic team with him after that. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to ask you about about the Olympics because I'm because I'm I'm a kid. I'm up at seven, like it's about two in the morning. They, they you know they don't put wrestling on till like the the witch hours. And I'm watching you wrestle. You're wrestling the Cuban. You're on top. It's parterre, and all of a sudden you jump up and punched him in the back of the head. Well, that actually was the pin in <laughs> pin him games. Oh, was what it happened? I, I I had this freestyle turn that, that was pretty painful when I was doing. He bit my finger to release the pressure, for me to release the pressure, and I had no way really to get my finger out of his mouth than to use my other hand to hit him in the back of the head. And, you know, it worked. My finger came out. Uh, his head, I think he got a couple couple, couple stitches. Uh, but I had to do that. The referee didn't realize what was going on at first, but then when I showed him my finger, I actually received the point. But, yeah, I, I didn't want to punch the guy. I just <laughs> to get my finger out. That was the uh, critical part of that. <laughs> All right. That was one of the most memorable things I can remember from your career. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nate. All right, Ray.